Hello, hello, welcome to this video. If this is your first time here, my name is Arielle. Thank you for joining. Thank you so much for being here. This video, we're going to be talking about actually all the chakras in your body. I'm just gonna introduce you to them. And then we're gonna start at the root talking about the foundation. And this is actually a series. So I'm gonna be talking about the root, like I said, and then we're gonna move all the way up until we get to the crown. And after um, we talk a little bit about like the imbalances, uh, crystals, what you can do to kind of like shift it. At the end, I'm gonna be doing a guided meditation. So if you are new here, thank you again. Welcome to my community, welcome to my channel. I would love for you to stick around. So if you can just please subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell notification so you know whenever I post a new video, which is actually every Sunday. And um, hello, we have a cat friend here. <laughs> And if you can give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. It just helps me know that you guys really like these videos and it also supports my channel and I would appreciate any support that you can offer. So I do have a candle burning in the background. I also have some incense. It's um, frankincense and myrrh, which looks like this. So if you were interested in picking it up, these are little cones. I actually really like them. So um, I actually have two cat friends here, so. <laughs> They're both looking at me. I guess I should feed them. Give me one second. All right, so the cats are fed, so no more interruptions. So there's seven chakras in your body. There's actually um, more chakras, but there's seven main ones that we're gonna be talking about today. And that, like I said, this is a series, so we're gonna go more in depth um, going forward. So the root is at the base of your spine. That's the first one that we're gonna start with. And then we're gonna move on to our sacral chakra, which is by our hips, where we store a lot of emotions. Then there's your solar plexus, which is right above your navel, which is like your willpower. Then we have your heart chakra, which is of course all the love, all the self-love, universal love. Then we have the throat chakra, which is about speaking your truth and also listening. Then we have our third eye, which is in the middle of our brow. And that's where our intuition is and um, you know, trusting more into that. And then the top is your crown, which is closer to divine source, God, whatever you serve. So starting at the root chakra, at the base of our spine, the color is red, and the Sanskrit word is muladhara. So as I said, it's at the base of our spine, and it's more for our survival, our foundation, um, so really think of like a foundation of a house. You know, you have a you have structure, you have foundation for that house. And you know, this one really helps align all the rest of the chakras. So this one is unbalanced. Um, I'm not saying all of them will be in balance as well, but this is really like the main one. So you really want to make sure that this one is like if you really want to focus on any of them, I would really focus on, this one, personal preference. When the pandemic happened, I feel like this really got shaken up in a lot of people because, you know, we didn't know what was going on. Our survival instincts kicked in and we felt unstable, we felt unsafe. It was just, um, it was a crazy time in the world. So I felt like our root chakras were really shaken up and out of control. So the root chakra is really responsible for our sense of security, our stability. Um, it helps you feel grounded in making decisions or choices in your life. So um, some ways that you can really tell if your root chakra is unbalanced, if you don't feel safe in a situation or you're not 100% grounded, you, um, you're thinking more about like the, the past or the future, you're not really focusing on the present moment right here, right now. Um, you feel like you're not aligned, you're off balance. These are some little key things that you can really uh, be aware of and be mindful of if you feel like your root chakra is not in balance and aligned with you. Some imbalances you also might feel are restlessness, anxiety, frustration, anger, especially anger, resentfulness, disconnected. If you're feeling insecure, um, having low self-esteem and not fitting in, um, I suffered with this for when I was younger because I always felt like I was different and I felt like I never fit in. So I feel like um, my root chakra has been for I don't for a really long time. It's been you know unbalanced and um, just using some tools, tools like this has has really helped me honestly. Another thing that I really like doing is grounding, just going outside, walking in nature, connecting, um, you know 
really paying attention to how green the leaves are or like how blue the sky is or even taking your shoes off and placing the bottoms of your feet onto the grass and just just grounding down and rooting and feeling that connection to the earth like you're really connecting and you're breathing in all of her energy like that's how you know when you're aligned. And like I said, if you feel a shift or an unbalance in this area, then you can you can take these tools and, and you can just, you can, once you really pay attention to your body and you hear the messages that are coming to you, you'll know like, oh man, like, oh, I feel like, I feel unbalanced. I, I feel, I feel so insecure right now. I, I really need to, I need to get out in nature. And like I said, that that's another thing that's free. These are all just tools that are gonna help you, um, you know, realign yourself. So some other things that you can notice too, if you have a unbalanced root chakra is weight issues, digestive issues, negativity, fatigue, back pain. Um, I'm not saying that it's 100% related, but it, 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 it could be, you know, it could definitely be related to having that unbalance if you have like a pain in your back or if you're suffering with digestive issues because um, you know when you have digestive issues there's something that's not aligned there's something that's unbalanced so if you're into crystals like I am two really good crystals that I have here with me is a red tiger's eye which looks like this um, and I also have like a basic crystals video on my channel as well if you're interested into getting into crystals these are rough ones I really like the rough ones just because they have a lot more energy to them since they're not touched by um, like they're not processed and then this one is garnet which is actually in my birthstone so these two crystals are really really good if you really want to work with them and like um i like to lay down while i realign my chakras and i just place it on that specific area so it really connects with that and as i mentioned uh, the incense before this is frankincense um and it also has myrrh in it as well some other essential oils that you can use to help realign your root chakra is vertivir lavender patchouli sandalwood and again frankincense which are honestly all of my favorite and you can also find this in an incense or if you want to use a spray or something i actually have a spray here from my friend it's called crystal by crystal um, i'll link her um, shop down below but this is an energy clearing spray there's also some crystals in here so you can honestly you can do so many things to help balance your chakra. So you can wear the crystals on yourself, like a necklace or a bracelet. I have clear quartz earrings on. It's just a tool to help you. So if you don't, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy all of these things. I'm just saying that these are tools that you can use to help enhance your experience in like realigning your root chakra. Um, if you don't have any of these tools, you can literally just use visualization you can you can meditate and you can just imagine like um a red sphere of light at the base of your spine and just you imagining you connecting to that and you know that's free <laughs> so um like i said i'm gonna have a guided meditation after i talk about this whatever is calling you um then that like whatever you resonate with that's what i think you should choose so those are all the things that um, you need to know about the root chakra, how to how to tell the signs of you having an unbalanced root chakra um, and what to do to really help you realign yourself, really coming back so you can have that strong foundation so you can feel secure and stable in the decisions you're making or in your life, you know? So I hope these tools and these tricks really help you. And if you have any other questions or you have um, something that you do that really helps you connect to your root chakra and really unblock any blockages or stagnant energy that's there, definitely leave it in the comments down below. I would love to, to hear what you guys use as well. If you're interested in the guided meditation, it'll only be for about five minutes, um, but you can stay as long as you want. I just like to give people at least five minutes because that's how much time some people can can like put aside for their day to to actually do this so just stay tuned for that thank you so much for clicking on this video i really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe if you are new here i would love to have you a part of my community and like i said give this video a thumbs up because it really does support me i hope you have a beautiful day night whenever you're watching this and i'll see you soon i love you guys so much bye Hello, beautiful. 
welcome to this root chakra balancing meditation. If for any reason you feel unstable or not grounded in any way, this meditation is a tool to help you connect to your root chakra If you'd like to use some crystals to help you connect a little bit deeper, I suggest you using garnets or red tiger's eye or whatever crystal is calling you. Once you have all the tools that you need, I invite you to lay down in a comfortable position and taking a few deep breaths here just to really relax the body and connect to your breath. Taking a nice big inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Two more times, just like that. Inhale. And exhale, letting it go. Last time here. Inhale. And exhale, let it all go. Melting into the earth. Now, as you're laying here, connecting to your breath, really letting go here, letting any thoughts you may have just pass by and focusing more on the present moments, being fully here now. Imagine that there's roots coming down from your tailbone all the way to the center of the earth, grounding down, becoming stable and grounded, connecting to the earth. And each time you inhale, you inhale all of her energy. And when you exhale, you exhale what no longer serves you down those roots. Taking nice deep inhales here and longer exhales. While you're breathing in this beautiful energy from the earth, imagine a red sphere of light at the base of your spine. Imagining this light getting bigger and brighter each time you inhale and exhale. Connecting to the Muladhara Chakra. Now I want you to repeat this affirmation. You can repeat it out loud if you feel comfortable or inside of your head. 
I am grounded and rooted. I am secure and stable. I am centered and balanced. And choose whatever one feels best for you, even if all three, and just repeating them in your head or out loud, and really connecting, talking to your root chakra, letting it know that you are grounded and you're balanced and you're stable. I now intend to create a connection with my root chakra. May I feel grounded and secure in my being and existence. I release all fear that keeps me from feeling safe in my life. I ask to be supported in the trust that all of my basic needs in life are met, that I am connected in healthy ways to my family and tribal consciousness and that allows me to move with the ebb and flow of life. And so it is. Now you're welcome to stay here in this meditation connecting to your roots. Or if you feel like you've connected and you're feeling centered, slowly coming out of this. Slowly waking up the body, wiggling your fingers and your toes. Once you feel ready, slowly and mindfully blinking open the eyes. And if you feel like you need to release, just let it go without any judgment. May you continue to have a balanced root chakra and if you ever need to come back here just know that this place is always for you